analysis of the short story das is the bridegroom by r k narayan as usual i manusha tenna kon if you feel my videos are useful for your studies please subscribe my youtube channel content of today's presentation number 1 biography of r k narayan number 2 the story a glimpse number 3 summary of the story number 4 character analysis of dasi number 5 themes of the story biography of r k narayan his full name was rasipuram krishna swami ayer narayan swami but he was famous all over the world as r k narayan He was born on 10th October 1906 in Madras, and he died on 13th May 2001 in Chennai. He was one of the most refined Indian writers brought in English literature. Narayan became the voice of Indian commoners in the Western world. For instance, through his works. Narayan paved the way of Indian people to become accessible to the outside western world. In this way, he familiarized the foreigners to feel the Indian sensibilities and cultural intricacies. Being a recognized writer, Narayan won various honors. In 1958, Narayan's novel The Guide won the sahitya academy award and after its film production the film fair award for the best story he earned the honorary padma bhushan in 1964 in 1980 the british royal society of literature honored narayan with the ac benson medal many times narayan was nominated for the nobel prize that he unfortunately never won the story a glimpse dasi the bridegroom is one of the stories from the book an astrologer's day and other stories a collection of short stories written by r k narayan it is a tragic comic story of a simple and retarded man who falls prey to the prank of his neighbors is driven to complete madness Like in most of his short stories, Dasi the Bridegroom was set in his fictional semi-urban South Indian town in the mid 20th century called Malgudi. Summary of the story. In this story, the title character is Dasi, a man who lived in the extension block. He displays an ugly look with a narrow head, large eyes. and a fat neck with a huge body when he talked he stammered like a child he lived in a house and his relationship with the master of the house was not known he serves the family by drawing water from the well cutting down wood and digging the garden when he went out of the house in the afternoon he was followed by children shouting and joking with him the old men of the village who enjoyed all kinds of gossip gathered in the front part of a house known as mantapam when they saw dasi they would ask him if he had found a bride and he thought about his marriage when he sat with them he would say he must arrange a marriage soon further he would say according to his brother who was his uncle he would settle the matter and be married this night then uh, the old man would say that he should no longer draw water and cut wood he would marry does his eyes brighten with this suggestion next the old man asked where his bride was he replied that she was in madras and she had large eyes white color 
and long hair. At home, when he was questioned about where he was, he said, my marriage. He is a heavy eater. He consumes a huge quantity of rice. So, the owners of the house thought that it would be a risk to call him in before the others. Hence, he was the last to eat. After taking food, he would wash the utensils and dining hall. He led a simple and monotonous life without interfering with anything. He was indifferent to others. At the little cottage on the third street was occupied by a film star from Adras called Bamini Bai and the people of Malgudi knew that she would stay there with her mother for some time to have trained under a famous musician of the town. The extension people had known of her movement. The old men at Mantapam told Darcy that his bride had come. Darcy was excited. He was told that the girl who had occupied the cottage on the third street was his bride. They advised Darcy to go to her place and to see her through the window of the cottage. Then they directed him to go to the stretchy rod at five o'clock to see her. Darcy followed the given instructions. Along the trunk rod, Darcy sat under a tree. The sun's rays were hot. He continued to wait. She came and Darcy's throat was dry at the sight of her. He had never seen anything like her. The vision of beauty and the youth astonished him. He returned home agitated. When he was asked by his master about his conditions, he said, my marriage. The next day, he was again at the trunk rod. This became his daily habit. One day, he stared at her. He followed her to her cottage. He entered the hall and sat under the electric lamp. Bamini's mother asked him about his name. Bamini came and asked about his identity. Darcy said that she was his wife. When he repeated it again, Bamini struck him on the face. Both mother and the daughter set up a cry and the police sub-inspector was called in. Darcy was taken to the police station. He was released at the intervention of the old men of Mantapa. But Darcy could not forget her slap on the face. He did not eat anything that night. The next day, the children of the elementary school jarred him saying, Hey bridegroom, he requested them not to trouble him with the tears in his eyes. The children continued to mock him. He was angry and became violent. He attacked people that come near him. He rushed to the school and broke chairs and tables. He knocked down four teachers and beat everyone he met. He became ferocious and aggressive. The gates were closed. People tried to catch him but failed. The police finally overpowered him. He was kept in police custody and then sent to a mental hospital. He was hard to manage for some weeks. Then he became calm. He asked the doctor to allow him to stand at the main gate and look down the road. The doctor rewarded him for his good behavior. He stood for a whole hour looking down the road for the coming of his bride hopefully. Now, let's analyze the character Darcy. Darcy is the protagonist of the short story Darcy the Bridegroom. He was a strange fellow with a narrow tapering head, bulging eyes and fat neck. Below the neck, he had a muscular body. This shows 
that Darcy was not a handsome fellow. His speech was not clear because when he speaks, he stammers. At Darcy's age was unknown. His age was a mystery. It might be anything between 20 and 50. If you ask him his age, one day he would say 100, one day 5. That is how the writer R.K. Narayan mentions about his age. He served the family and received food and protection. But his relationship to the master of the house is not known to anybody. But the most important thing is that he is not indebted to his master because he served the family in his own way, drawing water from the well, chopping wood and digging the garden. He was a simple man. He never seemed to long for anything or interfere in anybody's business. Even though he started thinking of his marriage and his wife, due to the preservation of the old people at Mantapam. He never spoke to others except when spoken to and he treated everybody sincerely. Darcy was innocent and harmless. When the children of elementary school were trying to bully him as bridegroom, he requested him them Go, go, don't trouble me, go. When children continued teasing him as, Oh, the bridegroom is still crying. His wife beat him yesterday only. He became violent like a tornado. Darcy was a victim of society. Uh, due to the irresponsible behavior of intellectual and matured people who thought People like Darcy should be treated as a subject of jokes. He became a victim of society. Themes of the story. There are distinct themes in the story Darcy the Bridegroom. Here in this slide, I have arranged them into four. Theme number one. How innocent persons like Darcy become victims of a society where human feelings are meant for fun. In the story, it is clearly visible Darcy's neighbors playing with his emotions and feelings of marriage. Theme number two. Though mentally retarded, Darcy too had some dreams to be fulfilled. The vicious hopes and dreams are not conditional to normal, ordinary people only. Darcy's neighbors did not think so. That is why they had fun out of Darcy inducing his feelings towards marriage. Theme number three. Darcy is shown as that part of the society where they are neglected but are utilized for their own benefits. This is visible from the way how his master misused his labor to get things done for his benefits. Even though Darcy was given food, he served the family enormously, drawing water from the well, cutting wood and digging the garden. Theme number four. Irresponsible behavior of intellectual and matured people who think people like Darcy should be treated as a subject of jokes drag Darcy out of the normal society to mental hospital. The most devastating fact in the story is that the cause for Darcy's trouble is the irresponsible behavior of old people at Mantapa. The society expects all people to live as models for young people. But here in the story, all the people gathered at Mantapam became very irresponsible. Even though the behavior of the children at the elementary school can be excused, 
the behavior of the old people at Martapam cannot be penalized. Dear students, we have reached the end of today's presentation. I hope that you might got a very clear idea about the short story, Darcy the Bridegroom. Hope to see you soon with another educational video like this. Thank you.